Hi, Rich Spazano here from Digitally Fearless, and this is number 32 in my Powerful Tools of Affinity. It's number 32 of the desktop version, but in this version I do an iPad version. If you don't have an iPad, check out my desktop version. It's in the links below. And this time I'm going to show you how to use the Erase Blend Mode to make a much more flexible mask, and I think more intuitive. Now there's so many ways of doing things in Affinity Photo. This isn't the only way, but this is a way that I find that's really pretty interesting. And I think it's more flexible than using the regular mask. So could you please click that like and subscribe button and let's get started. I just pulled in these four pictures. A, a lady with a flower. Actually, here's the flower, here's the lady. Here's a, just a black and white thing that could be a logo or anything you want it to be, a stencil. And that's just a photo behind it right there. So before I show you how interesting this could be, I want to show you how this technique works. So this is all in one group, and I'm just going to close it up. And now I'm going to add a rectangle. So let's just add a rectangle right here. So above that rectangle, I am going to add a new pixel layer right there. On that pixel layer, I'm going to paint and I'm going to use any brush. I'll just pick a basic brush and it could be any color we want it to be. It could be yellow, green, blue. Let's just do red. And I am going to just paint like that. Now, if I go back to that paint, that layer that we just painted with and go into blend modes and I choose erase, it erases. It actually is a mask and you can see right through it. Now there is one thing you have to be aware of. If I, for example, added another layer, let's say another square, another rectangle behind here, and say I put that behind both of these, let me move that behind right now, it's showing that it disappeared. And the reason is that that pixel layer with the brush that set to erase goes through everything. But the, it's an easy way to solve it. You pick these two and then you group them right here. And now that's grouped. So the erase only works in within that group. What's interesting about the erase layer now is I can move that around. I can rotate it. I could do lots of things and it's still in erase mode. I can shrink it. I can do so many different things. So let's just get rid of this red one behind here. We'll delete that. So this is really a very flexible thing. And I'm going to show you some t techniques on how to use this because it really makes my life easier rather than going into mask and do black and then white and then black. And by the way, you can erase this instead of um, you can erase what you just erased, which is weird. You hit the erase tool and just go over the erase tool. And whatever brush you want it to be, again, as big as you want it to be. So you can just erase and then paint it back in, just like that. So that's the simple basic idea. Now I'm going to show you some interesting techniques on how to use that. So we are going to take that whole group and delete it. And now I'm going to open up my photos. And I'm trying to keep my originals there. So let's start with the lady and the flowers. So I'm going to select the flower. I'm going to duplicate that. And I'm going to select the lady and I'm going to duplicate her. And I'm going to just move them out of the group. Oops. Move the flower, move it up here and hide the group. So this is all we have. Now, if I put the flower in front of her, you can do the same thing as I showed you before. And I'm going to show you how I'm going to do it wrong, but I'm going to show you how you fix it either way. So now I'm going to take um, a new pixel layer right here, pixel layer right here on top. And I'm going to take a paintbrush once again, does not matter what color, but I think in this paintbrush time, I think I'm going to make it a soft brush and let's see how big it should be. So let's go maybe like that. And I'm going to just start painting, but see, it didn't work, but the reason it didn't work is you have to go to the blend mode erase and still it won't work because now you just put a hole in it. 
So why is that? Well, remember I told you before, you need to group these two. And so that she, and she can't be in the group. She's got to be behind. So if you take these two and group them, there she is. So now as long as I paint on that paint layer, no matter what color, and then if I want to erase it, I can go back and erase anything I want. And that, that's how easy that is. So look at how cool that is. Simple, simple way to mask. But I'm going to show you another one, which I think is very, very interesting. So let's now get rid of the, this group because we have duplicates below, so I'm not losing them. Let's get rid of her. And now this time we're going to take, I'm going to take the background, duplicate it, and then this image right up here and duplicate it. And I'll just, you don't have to do this. I just want to keep my originals and I'm going to take both of those and take them out of the group. And then I'm going to hide the group. So basically we only forget everything else. Whoops, I thought I got it out, sorry. There we go. So forget everything else. Now it's just, we're working with just two layers. I'm trying to close that, there we go. So when you do this, let me go, let me move this over. When you do something like this, if I try to hit the erase mode, it won't work because it's just going to be a big square because this is a pixel image. If it was a vector, it would work very well. But an easy way to solve that is you select that image and you go to your layers. And if you select, you can look through all of them. But if you go to colors and look, go down the line and here, right down here, it says erase white paper. And I erased it. So now there's no more, no longer white. So it's simple as now just changing this mode to erase. And now you have a mode that it's in there and it's very cool. And I can put like a rainbow color behind it or anything I want to do. So watch this. I can also, interesting, you can take it now and you can duplicate it, right? And then move it, whoops, with the move tool and you can put it in all different kinds of places. You could like just keep doing it. Let's duplicate it again and let's do that. Okay, so let's let's take this one again maybe and duplicate that, duplicate, and then I'll move that one here. Now I could stretch this. I could do all kinds of strange things. Now here comes the fun part. You could do this. Just imagine that you needed your logo put on something or you wanted it to be showing through something. I think this is a really interesting way to do that. Let me make this a little bigger. Whoops. Let me lock, you know what? Let me lock that one right there. So, so I don't move it by mistake. And now let's take this. I'm gonna stretch this out, which is a little weird. So now what I'll do is underneath the whole thing, I'm going to add a fill layer. So add, fill layer, right? And I'm going to make that fill layer linear, gradient. And I don't remember how to do this on the iPad, but I'm checking. Okay, there we go. So that's my fill layer, but why don't I see it? Well, remember what I showed you last time, you need to take all of these one, and then grab that. The way I did, the way I just selected them, by the way, is I selected one and then I hit two fingers and they all got selected and I need to group them. So now look, the underneath shows through, but there is something I don't like and I can do colors and everything and I'll do that in a second. When I went to this one, if I, I don't like that that one is like that. I want to show more of the tree and I could do a soft uh, hardness. Let's go really soft. And so I'm kind of erasing so I get the tree back. So I know this sounds, it's, this is very rough. I'm just doing this very quickly. And remember, I can take that background color and I can give it a bunch of colors. And I'm trying to remember how. <laughs> I'm, I'm sure it's here somewhere. Oh, there we go. So maybe, okay, here we go. So instead of that color, maybe it's going to be, uh, how do I do it? Oh, here we go. So instead of that, I can do a, a blue and then I can add another point in there. 
and maybe do a green and then another point here and maybe do a yellow and then the last point here I can go a light blue and then again I could change all of these and move them around and what you're doing is you're, you're changing the whole thing with the background. So if that was your logo, that would be pretty cool. So I hope you found this tutorial useful. And if you did, please click like and subscribe and have a great day. Thanks so much and bye.